reason she has consistently shown her commitment to the LGBT community. And in the past two weeks leading up to the march today, she has risen to the task of making sure that the younger generation are aware, engaged, and here with us today. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Lady Gaga. seen and witnessed so many things over the past two years and I can say with such certainty that this is the single most important moment of my career. I am humbled to stand before all of you here today. I know that some of you have been fighting and doing advocacy work that stems all the way back to the Stonewall Riots. And I salute you. And you know I love Judy Garland. I am also inspired by the masses of all the young people here today. The younger generation, my generation. We are the ones coming up in the world. And we must continue to push this movement forward and close the gap. We must demand full equality for all. They say that this country is free and they say that this country is equal, but it is not equal if it's sometimes. Obama, I know that you're listening. Are you listening? We will continue to push you and your administration to bring your words of promise to a reality. We need change now. We demand actions now. And to Barney Frank, we are putting more than pressure on this grass, and today this grass is ours. We will come away today and continue to do the work in our own backyards, with our local politicians. And as for my backyard, as a woman in pop music, as a woman with the most beautiful gay fans in the whole world, to do my part, I refuse to accept any misogynistic and homophobic behavior in music, lyrics, or actions in the music industry. I am so very honored to have this platform here today and I will continue to fight for full equality for all. I love you all so much. <laughs>